Hey guys, welcome to episode 33 of my Zero Pay to Win series. So today, as you guys can probably tell from the title, we're going to be doing everyone's favorite segment. Ready? Pew. What's that item? It's scroll written in ancient language. That's right, guys. It's a scroll time. We're going to be running a thousand scrolls written in ancient language or uh, in other words, 200 Pilafe scrolls. Make sure to stick to the end of the video where I'll be doing all the smarticle particle math and we'll see if these scrolls were worth doing or not. I've also made previous episodes where I ran uh, voodoo dolls and relics. So we're also going to see between the three which one comes out on top and makes the most amount of silver for us. Before we get into the video though, make sure to thumbs the video up if you guys enjoy it. It really helps out the channel. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. All right, so let me show you guys all the scrolls that we have. So we have a lot of scrolls stored up. I've got 1,082 scrolls written in ancient language, but we're only going to be using 1,000 of them. All right, so now let's start combining these scrolls and making them into Pila Fey scrolls now. All right, so we've got our Pila face scrolls now. So all that we have to do left is head over to the location and start running the scrolls. Alright guys, so I was in an experimental mood, so I decided to time a couple runs of me running the scrolls to see how long it would take me on average to run a single scroll. From the experiment, I have come to the conclusion that on average it took me around 1 minute and 20 seconds to run each scroll, but of course this isn't taking into consideration uh, getting ready to start the next scroll, which might take a good couple more seconds maybe 10 more seconds anyway i thought i'd share that with you guys all right guys i am back i finished running all the pila face scrolls now so that's 200 pila face scrolls in total um which is a thousand scrolls written in ancient language anywho i finished running all of them so let me show you guys um, what I ended up with for my loot. So we've got 200 of each of the bundles. So 200 Kalak of Pila Face Scrolls reward bundles and 200 of the Magrim of Pila Face Scroll reward bundles as well. We've also got 105 Memory Fragments, 2,199 Basham Mains, 2,236 Mutant Bat Wings, and we've also got 105 Hunter Seals. First things first, I'm going to sell our Bash of Mains and our Mutant Bat Wings. So let's head over to a vendor. Hello, um, let me sell all of my junk items. We'll put it in our inventory so that we can keep track of how much silver we ended up with in the end. Sell all and sell all. That brought us up to 6.5 mil. All right, so let's exchange our 105 hunter seals in for blackstone armors. So let's exchange. And now we have 52 blackstones and a hunter seal left over. Now I'm going to be opening up all of our bundles to see what we got from them. So let's uh, open them up. Alright, so I opened up all the bundles, so here's everything that we got. So we got 1,292 memory fragments, 487 hunter seals, 3,140 mutant bat wings, 1,225 large MP potions, 3,129 basha mains, 1,239 large HP potions. But yeah, that's what we got from the bundles, so now I'm going to be exchanging 
exchanging all the hunter seals for blackstone armors and we're gonna sell our mutant bat wings and our basha mains to vendors so let's go do that i forgot to mention but we now have 16 million silver inside our inventory after opening up the bundles right, let's sell all of our basha mains sell our mutant bat wings sell all now let's exchange our 488 hunter seals in for blackstone armors max okay yes Ta-da! All right, guys, it's everyone's favorite time, the smarticle particle time. So we're going to be doing the math and seeing how much silver we made from doing the 200 Pila face scrolls. So let's get into it. So if you take a look down below, you will see a chart that's going to help me explain everything. But anywho, let's go over it. So as you guys know, we used a thousand scroll written in ancient languages to make our 200 peel of face scrolls so in total a thousand of our scrolls written in ancient language cost 1 billion 70 million silver let's move down and check out what we earned from the scrolls now so over here we have the items then we've got the amount of how many items that we got then we got how much one of each item can be sold for and then we've got the total so for memory fragments we got 1,397 memory fragments and one memory fragment can sell for 1 million silver. So in total, our 1,397 memory fragments can sell for 1,536,000,000 silver. Moving down to our blackstone armors. So we ended up getting 296 blackstone armors. One blackstone armor can sell for 210,000 silver. So we would take this, multiply it by our total amount of blackstone armors that we have which is 296 and we would get our total which is 62 million silver so our 296 blackstone armors can sell for around 62 million silver we've got 25 million 921 thousand silver now we're gonna add up all the totals so we're gonna add our memory fragment total our blackstone armor total and our silver total and then we'll get our overall total which is is 1,624,000,000 silver. But now we gotta take out tax. So after tax, our total will be 1,372,000,000 silver. So how did I get that? I took our total right here, multiplied it by 0.845, and we got our total after tax, which is 1,372,000,000 silver. But we're not done yet, guys. We've got to subtract our total cost of our scrolls written in ancient language, which which is 1 billion silver. So we take our total after tax, subtract it by 1 billion and 70 million silver, and then we get our total earnings after tax minus the peel of cost, which is 302 million silver. So now let's figure out how much we made per hour. So I added another chart down below that way. So it took me around five hours to finish running 200 of the peel of face scrolls. So to get our total earnings per hour after tax, what I did was I took our total earnings after tax minus the peel of fake cost, which was 302 million, divided that by five hours, which is how long it took me to finish running the 200 scrolls, which gave me 60 million silver, which is our earnings per hour after tax. So now let's Let's compare our Pila face scrolls to our voodoo scrolls. We have a little flashback to the past and go back to our voodoo scroll video and our relic scroll video where I tested out the relic scrolls and the voodoo scrolls. We came to the conclusion that the voodoo scrolls were better than the relics because it made us more silver per hour. So we're just going to completely ignore the relics, toss it to the back, and we're going to compare our voodoo scrolls and our uh, Pila face scrolls. Let's do a really quick recap for the voodoo scrolls so our total earnings after tax minus the voodoo doll costs is 232 million silver then i took the total and divided it by four hours which is how long it took me to run the 200 voodoo scrolls and it gave us our earnings per hour after tax which is 58 million silver and now let's compare the pila face scroll earnings to the voodoo scroll earnings so our earnings per hour after tax for the pila face scrolls is 60 million and our earnings per hour after tax for the voodoo scrolls is 58 million so if we take our peel of face scroll earnings and subtract our voodoo
Voodoo Scroll earnings, it'll show us that the Pila Phase Scrolls will make 2 million silver more profit than the Voodoo Scrolls would, which means the Pila Phase Scrolls are better than the Voodoo Scrolls. Anywho guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to thumbs the video up and also subscribe down below to see more. I also have a Twitch channel called Ace Alpha Live and my Instagram is Ace Ann Lee. And make sure to join my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. I also have a TikTok called Ace Alpha Live as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later.